Hello everyone, welcome back. Thanks for tuning in. This is Eric KJ for YZI and we're gonna talk about field day again. What is field day? In the next few videos this weekend, because it is the ARRL 2022 field day event, it is not a contest. Field day is implemented to get you out in the field in a place that you normally don't operate with portable power, emergency power, solar power, battery power, generator power, and portable antennas and portable setups like you see right here and to, to hone your skills and practice. You know, when all else fails, ham radio is there. And if you're relying on being in your office with some, you know, extravagant setup with your speech processors and your all kinds of rack mounted hardware and lexicons, that's not going to do you a damn thing if you don't know what you're doing out in the field with portable antennas. So that's what Field Day was designed for. This year, I am not operating Field Day with the W4OT Vero Beach Club. Normally I do. And it's hot out here, and they got a great setup. Check the video that you're gonna see in this series. I went down there and checked it out. Got a new generator, let them borrow it. <clears throat> All kinds of stuff, but see I got solar panels here on the ground. I got the carbon fiber mast. I got everything on battery and solar. And I have my ICOM 7100 I took out of my work truck. It's been there three years. That's the only radio I got for 100 watts. That's why I need you guys to watch these videos so I can get some more money rolling so I can buy my stuff back that I sold to buy this house. In the meantime, instead of using the 705 at 10 watts, we're going to use 100 watts on the, 70, on the 7100. And I'm going to try to make videos on all different bands using, I got back here, the Chameleon Tactical Delta Loop. Where is it? It's over there. I even got the pool. We're going to do poolside. I'm gonna do FT8, I'm gonna do PSK, I'm gonna do phone. Uh, if there's a satellite pass, I will do that as well. So let's check out what I got set up on field day at my home QTH. So let's get to it right here on Ham Radio Concepts. Ham Radio Concepts is brought to you by HamRadioPrep.com. It's never been easier to learn about Ham Radio before you take the exam. And Ham Radio Prep makes it fun and guarantees your success. Visit HamRadioPrep.com. Use the code ERIC20 to instantly save 20% off every course you buy. Remember the name, HamRadioPrep.com. Okay, folks, my room is a complete and total disaster. I'm not going to show you. <laughs> I've been starting to move stuff and shuffle stuff, but now field day comes. So what I did was I took this uh, ICOM 7100 out of my work truck and put it in here so I can give it some cleanup, maybe see if there's a firmware update. And I might even do the Mars mod myself inside. But in the meantime, I got my laptop running here. I got my 7100. I'm going to get the N1FJP software. And um, you know what? I'm running all the cables that I need through the window. Uh, yep, that's how I have to do it because I don't have my um, setup. Sh hey, you know what? I'm not ashamed anymore. I don't care, man. I'm trying my hardest, okay? So I'm not drilling holes in this house. But anyways, we're going to do 20 and 40. And I'm going to do some FT8 because I'm going to tell you what. Well, first I'm going to do some foam. But I'm going to tell you why I'm going to do FT8. Because watch this. It's kind of sad. That's where all the operators are hanging out in FT8. So I'm, you know what? Being that I'm on battery, I'm going to run 10 watts on FT8, make some contacts just at 10 watts. Look at this here. You want here? You want 40 meters? Look, it's all good. But we're gonna do foam. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk to people. Okay, I might do a few FTA because I want to see where my signal's going. Uh, in the meantime, let me show you outside what I have for my antenna set up, uh, how I'm operating this portably. All right, so I got the carbon fiber mass set up with the Chameleon 20 meter, 40 meter fan dipole. I have uh, the little flag on top, which is actually twisted. And uh, so I have one 20 meter tied to the bushes, 40 meter down there with the wire to the tent stake. Then I got 40 meter to these bushes. And then this one went over the house to a screw on the soffit there. So if you look at it like this, 
Oh, the sun's blinding it. Let me turn it around here. There you go. My little flag is not straight. Over here I have set up the Chameleon Tactical Delta Loop, which is gonna be my poolside antenna. When I'm in the pool operating that one, that'll do uh, quite a bit of HF. I got my portable Samlex 130 watt solar panel foldable out here, which is gonna be charging the batteries uh, for what I'll be operating on, which are two 60 amp hour sealed lead acid alpha cells. Um, those are gonna be going through the window, but at least this will keep them charged during the day. So here's the batteries I'm using. I have two of these, one's on charge now, one is sitting here. This is the Alpha Cell 100 XTV. This is just going straight up here to the back of the 7100. Uh, I have two of these, I just put them in a little foam insert. In the days of lithium, yes, lithium would be better. I do have a bioeno, but it's not gonna last as long as this. This is a 60 amp hour, but it does let you go to a 20% depth of discharge and it'll handle an extreme range of heat and cold. Now this is what's running, I have 12 of these running the off-grid RV, and uh, I can run the air conditioner on uh, 24 volt, six of these and five of these in series, five of these in series, no, five in parallel, five in parallel, then two banks in series. But I'm gonna use this, and um, with the solar alligator clips running through the window, clamped right under here, and then I'll have to move the solar panel in position for the sun, but uh, so far, what I know is I can run the majority of the day uh, with this without solar. If I had the solar plugged in or connected to it, I could run this all day long and then at night, pretty much the entire night with this 7100 right here. There it is. All right, so that's what we're doing. All right, guys. So here is today on 20 meters on field day. This is KJ4YZI. You can see it on the screen here. So today I started late, about 4.30, 5 o'clock p.m. And uh, made about how many contacts? 18. Um, so there's gonna be a video separate on this N1 or N3FJP software. I wanted to just show you real quick on what 20 meters looks like. Now listen, the following video is brought to you by ham radio concepts on what 20 meters looks like when they say the bands are dead and rest assured I have no scope on this radio this came out of my truck because I don't have other than the 705 I don't have a 100 watt radio here we go Kilo, Juliet Four, Yankee, Zulu, India. Uh, once again on the call sign, please, once again on the call sign. Kilo, Juliet 4, Yankee, Zulu, India. Okay, Kilo, Juliet 4, Yankee, Zulu, India, and please copy from us, one echo, Mike Craster, one echo, Mike Craster. Okay, one echo, Missouri, I am one echo, Sierra, Foxtrot, Lima, I need your call. Okay, Alpha Echo Zero Delta Charlie, you're one Echo Missouri, Roger? That is correct, that is correct. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yes, I had to make a correction. I deleted it. I deleted it. One Echo Missouri. Missouri is M O. There we go. We got the Alpha Echo Zero Delta Charlie, one Echo Missouri. So, um, yeah, pretty cool, man. Thank you.
Check out 40 meters. Look, it's not even dark yet. <coughs> Let's give it a shot here. Doesn't that sound like an alien mothership? Alright, so the next day when all is said and done, you know, I have to juggle between making videos and making contacts, but I did make some contacts. It says I made 22 phones, 17 digital. I got 56 points. Now, that comes to when a couple of friends came over, we had a couple of drinks, started shooting pool. Next thing you know, I you know got tired and uh didn't enjoy all night on 40 like I wanted to. But here, look at the contacts I made though. So if you, here, tell me if your name's in the list. Ready? Here we go. Alright. And if I click on the map, Pretty fun stuff, and I got some colors there, so I made some contacts. Um, I got more of a chance to play a lot more FT8 that I don't want to do, but check the next like five videos because I'm going to show what I did on 6, 10, 12, 20, and I think 40 uh, on FT8, but that's where a lot of the people were hanging out, and I'm going to show you another fun fact on those times that I was on those bands doing FT8. I want you to see, I'm going to roll back on the history and look at the map of where my signal was being received on FTA. That's going to be a little fun, fun thing to look at. So stay tuned to that video. And more videos underway. I, I beat this 70 here. My room's a mess, man. I beat this 7100 up this weekend. I don't have the antennas to the window anymore. Um, man, this radio to this day has not let me down. I'm going to do some cleanup. The only thing is the screen, and this is my fault, the screen has a couple, a little bit of, like, hints of the LCD because it gets so hot in my work truck. And um, it, it, I had a couple times I left it on and it was in the sun, and man, it washed out the screen. You don't want to leave an LCD screen in the truck with heat like that. Uh, it's my fault. But man, I'm going to do the, the Mars mod, I think, in here, clean it up check for firmware updates but this was a cool field day i really enjoyed it check out the video of the generator that i bought that i let the guys at field day use um all the other videos a lot of them this weekend from field day if you can't get out from field day or for field day you can definitely operate from home and the video coming up will show you about what those numbers mean when you're talking to somebody and they say one echo sierra foxtrot lemur what's that mean Check the video coming up soon. Thanks a lot for watching. This is KJ4YZI.